Safe Mode is one of the most important tools that Microsoft has to provide us with. What Safe Mode does is it allows you to boot into a diagnostic version of Windows, which is loading only the absolutely most needed drivers, etc. Uh, it's very useful if you're troubleshooting a virus, if you want to run some virus scans, and you want to make sure that all your files are not tied up in, in running the operating system, uh, this is where you want to be. Safe Mode with networking is very important because uh, it runs that diagnostic version of Windows, but it still allows you to get to the internet uh, to download and run tools, uh, or perhaps to let tech support log into your computer and work on your virus. Uh, in this video, we're going to show you how to get your computer to boot into safe mode with networking. This is Paul, one of the techs from Micro Center. Let's get started. So first off, you want to go ahead and open up MS Config, and the easiest way to do that is to press and hold the Windows logo at the lower left-hand corner, and then release, which is the same as a right-click. I like to run. I'm going to go to our on-screen keyboard and type MS Config. Okay, so then this system configuration program will come up, and what we want to do is we want to go to the second tab, the Boot. We want to select Safe Boot, and then beneath that we want to make sure that network is also selected. So what that will do is it will shut down the computer, it will reboot, and it will be in safe mode with networking. And in safe mode with networking you should be able to get onto the internet. Now in some cases with some viruses you still can't. And if that's the case then you're just completely isolated and what you're going to have to do is just bring that computer with that virus into the store. Okay, so that's how to get into safe mode with networking using MS Config. If you have any other questions, come visit us at www.microcentertech.com or visit our no-wait chat service at chat.microcentertech.com.